Hi YouTube, it's Lucas here yet again with another Toy Story video. And the reason why I've been making a lot of Toy Story videos is because within the past couple weeks actually I've gained at least 50 subscribers. I have had a lot of people come to me with Toy Story questions, uh, people wanting to share their uh, retrospective of the films with me, and I appreciate a lot of that. So while you guys are here, while you guys are attentive, while you guys are continually looking at my channel for Toy Story content, I would like to provide as much as I can. So. I have a video that a lot of you guys had wanted to see, um, a lot of you guys had asked about. People want to know what I thought, like, uh, people want to know what I thought about the, uh, the emotional highlights of the movie. Not just people on YouTube, but people I know in general, they really want to know what I felt, like, the, the emotional highlights of the film, the very sad parts of the end of Toy Story 3. So, if you haven't seen the movie, you got, you're going to want to go because this video is all spoilers because it's stuff that happens in the movie that, you know, got to me personally, so... If you haven't seen the movie, I suggest you leave, but those of you who have seen the movie, stayed and find out what made me sad. Now, I'd cried about three or four times throughout the whole movie. I'd cried within the first ten minutes after it showed the playtime sequence, when it showed uh, the home movies playing with You Got a Friend of Me in the background, as it shows Annie's progression from eight to seventeen. That really got to me right here, because... I'm like Andy. I've grown up with him for so long, you know, since 95 up until 2010. Uh, I'm not in college yet. I still got a couple years ago, but I'm really close. So I, I, I've grown up with Andy. I've grown up with Woody and Buzz. I, I've grown up with them for so long, and it, it it means a lot to me. And you got a friend of me. It's like it's it's just it explains my relationship with the movie so perfectly. And a lot of people are asking how can you get so emotionally attached to a character well when you're exposed to something so young and for so long it grows on you and Toy Story's got me right here it's so amazing the movie was just phenomenal so I started crying not like full out like <laughs> not, not like that I wasn't full out crying at the beginning but when they were playing You Got a Friend of Me and it showed Andy growing up or getting older that got to me really I was just kind of you know misty eyed you know, kind of <laughs> sniffing, but nothing too bad. Then, toward the end of the movie, when Andy's mom walks into Andy's empty room and just looks around and realizes that he's he's going to be gone tomorrow, and she starts crying on his shoulder with him, that got to me, too, because I realized I'm going to be in the exact same position. I'm going to be gone, too. So, you know, I, I, my mom always talks about me, you know, growing up and going off to college or whatever, so she talks to me about that. That got to me, too. I realized that that's going to be me in just two years or whatever, so it's going to be me real soon. So, it got to me here as well. Then, at the end climax, when, uh, they didn't even have to say a word at this part. It was all eyes and body language told the entire story. And it's just, it's computer animation. It's a cartoon that did this, too. It's so beautifully done. At the end, where... They're in the dump, and then they're going down into, like, like the lava that, that burns all the garbage, like, by the incinerator. They don't say one word. They just look at each other, hold out their hands, and they, they all hold hands. They all just look at each other. They know they're going to die, but they want to go together, so they all just hold hands as they go down. That was so emotional. That was so touching. It got me right here. Really bad. It was, it was, more, of, that was, it was more sad than I had gotten at the beginning of the movie. And then, when it got to the final climax, or not the climax, but when it got to the end of the movie, when Andy is giving away the toys, when first Andy shows uh, Jesse, talks about how Jesse and Bullseye, like, Jesse loves critters, but none more than her best pal, Bullseye. Uh, that's what he said for Jesse. Then he came to the Potato Heads, and then he said that they're madly in love, so they should never be separate. Then he gets to Ham and Slinky. And then he says that uh, Slinky's a loyal dog, but uh, Ham is the evil Dr. Porkchop. Then he gets to Rex and says that Rex is the most fearsome T-Rex ever. Then he gets to the aliens and then talks about the claw. Then he gets to Buzz and talks about how cool he is. And then shows Buzz, you know, shows him like, like that. I am Buzz Lightyear. Then he uh, showed how he can fly. So, he did that, then he talked about Buzz, and then he got to Woody. Alright, now when he got to Woody, I had this whole part memorized, because I had seen it, or I'd seen it twice, 
and when I had seen the movie yesterday, I had recorded this part on my phone, like just the audio, because it was so powerful, and I, I love it. So I'm actually going to tell you what it was. And a lot of a lot of people wanted to know, like just because they wanted to hear it again. I'll show it to you, but it's really hard to hear. But basically, this is what he says. So I'm gonna, I'm just going to set the scene for you rather than just like tell you the whole thing. So just to give you a fresh in memory, he's giving all the toys to Bonnie, and then he looks in the box. He sees Woody at the very bottom of the box. His face is, you know, he doesn't say anything, but his face is like, how did you get in here? And he takes out Woody. Bonnie reaches for Woody. She's like, my cowboy, going to reach for him. Andy pulls him back, and you know, you can see in Bonnie's face, she's upset. She wants Woody. She's like, what's going on? I want this toy. Andy pulls it back, and then he looks at Woody, and then he looks at Bonnie, and she's upset because he didn't give it to her. And then he decides at that point he's going to give Woody to her, and this is exactly what he says. Because I remember I wrote it down. Because I'm doing the review for my paper. And uh, I'm going to put this in the review. He says, Now Woody, he's been my pal for as long as I can remember. He's brave like a cowboy should be. He's smart and kind and he's loyal. But the thing that makes Woody special is he'll never give up on you. Ever. He's always there for you, no matter what. Do you think you can take care of him? So, that's what he says at the end of the movie. And that part... At that part, my face was it was beat red. It must have been as must have been as red as this can. My face was just red. My eyes were completely bloodshot. I was like, oh man, like the tears were like all over the place. And then my face, like I could tell how wet it was, like right around here, like it was spread all over the place. And then it it looked like I dipped my face in water or something. It was it was really bad. I mean, I. I didn't try to hold it in. I knew it was going to cry, so I just let it all out because I wasn't the only one. I had some te One of my teachers was there, and she was crying. And I'm pretty sure the other teacher that was sitting next to me was crying. I was crying, and I think Josh was too. Um, and there were other people in the theater I know cried. And then when I saw it again t t uh, yesterday, I cried again, but not as much as I thought. I n not, not as much at all. I was still <laughs> so sad, but nowhere near as bad as I was on Tuesday when I saw it. So the end of the movie it really got to me and it was it was so beautiful. And then that made me cry a lot, but then I started to regain myself. And just as I started to feel a little bit better, Woody he starts playing with Bonnie with all the toys and then it shows like Woody around like sitting on the back of Andy's neck because he's playing with the toys one last time. And then it looks it's so cute. It's so adorable. It's it's amazing. And then as you know, she's playing with them, and they're all on the porch. He looks... Andy looks back at all the toys, all of them together, and then he's like... I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what he said. He said something like, like, so long, fellas, or something like that. Something like, goodbye. As he's standing next to his car, just looking at the porch. And as he's looking at them, you can tell he's, he's crying. And then he gets in the car, he drives off, and then you just see... You just see Woody... You see Woody standing here, and then Andy's driving off, and then Buzz comes up to him, puts his arm around him or whatever, and then he's, and then you can see Woody say, so long, partner. Wow. It is, it was so beautifully done. I could, it was the best ending to a movie I've ever seen in my life. This is literally, this is, this is one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. So amazing. It's perfect. I would not change any frame of this movie. You know what? Screw my nine and a half, whatever I get. I'm going to give this movie a ten. It's there's not one thing I would change. To me, it is perfect. Nothing wrong with it at all. Not one wasted frame. Animation is beautiful. The story is so sad, and just, it was amazing. There's not enough good words to describe how amazing this movie really is. So, those are the parts that got to me. So, share in the comments below what got to you, what made you cry, how hard did you cry, and if you feel so inclined, make a video response, because I know... Trey cried, Gray cried, I did, my brother, my teachers, Josh I'm pretty sure did, uh, Cola said he didn't, but he said he was had a tear on his eye, so that can count that as crying, a lot of my other friends texted me telling me I was right for hyping up the movie so much that they cried, everybody I know cried, it was so emotional, so amazing, so, in the, in the comments below, post what you thought of the ending, what made you cry, so, I'm going to try to show you the ending of what I had recorded, but, uh, no promises though.
So that's what made me cry the most. In this video, it's this definitely is a lot longer than it should have been, but I had to describe everything. So more toaster content on the way, more toaster reviews, more toaster stuff. So when the movie does appear online for download, I will post every link possible. So thanks for watching the video and tune back for more toaster related stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.